School vouchers remain the number one topic for East Texas public school districts. Today, many came together in Longview to discuss the impact of the 88th Texas Legislative Session, which ended in May. KTK's Tori Bean has more about their fight against vouchers. Superintendents and school board members from five regions across Texas expressed their concern saying school vouchers take funding away from public schools. Provide those to parents so that they can provide um, subsidies to uh, tuitions that uh, charter schools or private schools hold for those students to go there. Chapel Hill ISD Superintendent Lamont Dean says he and most of the East Texas school districts are against parent saving accounts. We are pro education and we want our parents to get and receive the best education that they can possibly get for their children. We have 5.5 million school children in Texas and those children uh, are received and accepted by the neighborhood public school, no questions asked. Reverend Charles Johnson says school vouchers have been an issue for years. He says they were the reason he started the Pastors for Texas Children Ministry 10 years ago. We believe it's a violation of the public trust. Another topic brought up during today's meeting in Longview was how the Texas Education Agency or TEA is changing how schools are graded by making adjustments to academic growth. They're changing the rules after the game has already been played. Superintendent Dean says the changes from the TEA is making schools look like they're doing worse than they actually are. Then sometimes it can give a not strategic aligned evaluation on that education that we provided for them. Adding everything they do is to make sure your child receives the best education possible and says they may not get to do that if school vouchers are passed. Tori Bean, KTK News.